Just outside Bitterford, on a bridge over the main line, there's a sign with some historic railway significance. At eight miles to the north, this is the view from the top of the spoil heap at the former Red Lake China Clayworks on Dartmoor. But what's the connection? Well, it turns out that the Puffing Billy was a name given by locals to a little narrow-gauge steam train that brought workers out here between 1910 and 1933. The three quarries where the china clay was washed out by high-pressure hoses are now filled with water, and the quarry buildings have been demolished. But the trackbed of the railway remains. It winds its way up the slope across the moor, high above the valley of the River Erm, from the Great Western Main Line near Bitterford to Red Lake. Around a hundred workers use the train every day. It used to carry basic materials as well. The rails were three feet apart and they were laid on oak sleepers. The three small steam engines working the line pulled three passenger carriages and 12 goods wagons. The rolling stock was stored in sidings and sheds here, high above Bitterford. Trains were also loaded and unloaded here, and a separate half-mile-long line ran at right angles down a one-in-five slope under this bridge to the main line with a winding engine and ropes hauling materials up and down. And this is where the tramway used to end, at the former China Clay Works, now called the Red Lake Trading Estate.